Hi everyone, welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios, and do you see what's on my table? This means it's another Sack Saturday haul. Now, I am recording this on Monday, because Bob leaves tomorrow, and he wanted to see what I got, but I told him he couldn't until I'd done my video. So, getting the video done up early, and there should be a couple other videos this week, so just hang with me. Um, the stamping cataloging job is just about over and I can start doing other stuff. So here we go with what's in my box. This was my last order from I want to say the week of the, the first two weeks of March. Um, and so got a little bit here. Of course there's my ever ever important packing paper that is becoming, I'm going to start making up mass making just blank brown paper journals. And then I'll have them to work on art stuff with. Because I have a bunch of that. You know, because I get a lot of stuff from Spectrum Art Creations. Okay, looks like, oh, the new Timmy fabric. The new Timmy fabric. That's what's in this order. This is what broke me this time. Was the new Timmy fabric. And his color swatches. I love this. Um, I really don't want to pop them out of the bag. I'll just try to do them to where there isn't a lot of glare. Let me move my camera so I can see. Yeah. I love these. Not sure what I'm doing with them. But I had to have them. You know, and not just because they were Timmy, but they're really good fabrics. And then I got this one. This is a new version of his... Um, yardstick fabric with his new uh, designer and then we have this I believe this is Kathy Holden I want to say this is Kathy Holden but I love this print and I got two yards of it mm, from Camden no it's a Tim Holtz as well this is Tim Holtz too Hmm, picking up a little feminicity on there is uh, on there, isn't he? Nice. So that might work good for maybe a throw pillow in my office. We'll see. So fabrics from Timmy. And that was pretty much the bulk of this order. I have these from Maddie. And I know I have more of these, but I ordered these with a purpose. I'm working on that steampunk journal for a friend of mine. And this was a variety of stuff. Of things that I can include in there. She's a real Wild Wild West fan. And so I wanted to make sure I had plenty of things to work with in her journal. So I have those that are refusing to go back in that baggie. They're hanging up on the corner. There we go. Or not. <laughs> ah, it's been a it's been a long couple of days. I'll put them back later. <laughs> it's one of those. Okay, I'm going to all the small stuff first. Um, I have this from 49 and Market. You know, because I needed more um, epoxy stickers. But these are a variety, and they've got hummingbirds and words not just your colored dots and hearts so got those from 49 a market i picked up this die from maddie because i love to i've got to remember to put magnet sheets on my shopping list for when i go shopping later this week i've got to have vent vent magnet sheets but this one does a couple of different tags Almost looks like a speech bubble. Different shapes here. Kind of like the airplane. That's kind of different. Or it could be... Well, it looks like an airplane, but I think it's supposed to be a clip. And then this will just pop right out of here. Just like this. So we have that. Then we have this um, edge. And then we have this with the decorative edge. And then the individual pieces. So that one is MD81 
five if I can read their writing. And I will link, if this is still available, I'll link this down below. Any of this is still available, I'll link it down below. Okay, this is a specialty pack. This is a craft pack from Madison. We are to take in, this is her challenge for this month. We're supposed to take her papers. Oh goody, they're all single-sided. And make something for her challenge. We can do whatever we want. And I love doing Maddie's, Madison's challenge because I like seeing what she sends us. Um, Oriana did Madison's challenge in her Sunday video yesterday, Easter Sunday. I will link it down below so you can go check that one out. And everybody's papers were different. Okay. Then there was this from Stamperia. Time is an illusion. I love this. Did I need it? No. Is it Stamperia and, you know, it's almost a gotta have? Yes. But Maddie was working on a project using this, and I loved the vintage style of it. And I'm going to turn it this way. Um, let's see. There we go. I guess it does go this way. So we have this. We have these, and we have the journaling cards. Love the, almost like a bottle cap punch out. I love that. And because this had a lot of teals in it, I'm thinking this is what I'm going to cover my desk organizer from Maddie with. <laughs> you must be tired because you've been running through my mind all day. But see, it's got this teals in it, and I just, I love it. More um, tag styles. And that's the backs of them. Um... And it's so my style with the vintage rose type stuff to it. Eternity is in love with the productions of time. Nice. Love the quotes they find. Stamperi is an extremely talented group of designers. Okay, I've got one more thing to show you, but I want to pull something to go with it first. Let me pull that first really quick. I didn't think about it beforehand. Where are my circle stencils? Oh, here it is. It's hanging right here in front. <clears throat> this is a um, six by six stencil from Finnebar, and it's a doily. And I've had this for several years. Look what Maddie found. She found it in a 12 by 12. I love it. So now I can make larger coffee dyed papers using this, or I can use this smaller one and do corners of a page in the coffee dye. So that was my big takeaway from this sale, was that 12 by 12 dye. She had several dyes, and I just had to have that one because I knew I had the six by six. Okay, now a couple of little things down here in the box yet. Um, bingo chips. And I got the variety pack instead of the colors because I can drill holes in them and use them for dangles on journals. Cool. And then I got more of her playing cards, and I got two of each. And then I got this stencil from Tim Holtz. I have the embossing folder, but I did not have the die. And it's set up for tags. So I've got a large tag stencil. And then I've got the numbers that I can use for stenciling with. And then this is the mold for my um, coffee and chocolate patterned um, paper from Stamperia. This is the coffee mold, or the chocolate mold. And it does all different types of chocolates. And I love that one. Um, do they have a name for this one? No, but it does go with the coffee and ch chocolate line. There's another one in this line that is all different types of coffee cups and coffee pots. But I just wanted the chocolates with the coffee beans and the little micro chocolates. 
this one's going to be fun to play with. So that's my order from Stampin' Up! Creations for March. I've got, I have another one coming. But they didn't ship the last week in March because they had gotten an invitation to go to Creativation. So they didn't ship anything. So my tail end of my March sale is going to be combined with my April, which should ship, I think, this week. And since I didn't order anything Saturday, all I got to do is go and pay my shipping. When Bob's home, I try not to spend a lot of time online. So when he retires in about 15 to 18 months, that's going to... I'm going to have to set priorities. Saturdays are my day. So that's it for me in the studio today. Thanks for joining me. Remember, we have live sale with Spectrum Art Creations today, Saturday, as you're seeing this, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go in and subscribe to their channel and check notifications because sometimes they start a little early and you don't want to miss all the early bird specials that they do. And... Plan to put dinner in the crock pot and spend the entire day with us because they're, we're there till 8, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's an all afternoon evening event. So plan to throw something in the crock pot. Have your beverages of choice handy and something that you can write down your purchases on so you can track your purchases and check it against your invoice. Um, when you do come in to our live sale, if you are new, please remember to read the description box below the Saturday live sale video so you'll get all the information that you need to participate. And then just come join us and have lots of fun. Aside from the amazing deals and the amazing products, we play games, we win free stuff. You don't want to miss it. It's a great way to spend a Saturday afternoon. Thanks for joining me in the studio today. Remember, like, share, subscribe. And I will see you back here next week. Creative Blessings.